What attracted me to Killer's Game was um, the love story. You know, I always, when I, the first time I read the script, I thought it was interesting because I thought it was a love story disguised as an action film. And that's kind of really what I was looking for. I was really, I was really looking to establish myself as a lead. And I thought that it was the perfect way to do it. Um, and Joe, I, 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 you know, I thought it was great. The first draft that I read, you know, I wanted to change him up a little bit, um, which, which I did eventually. <laughs> In the original draft that I, I I read, he was to me he was a little more generic. He wasn't uh, as developed. He was a little more just straight badass. And I thought um, it would be more interesting playing um, playing him as a guy who was you know a little bit shut off, a little bit uh, who didn't know how to be in a relationship. Who was like uh, and that was the thing about him. I think he had he was always kind of work focused. He was you know <laughs> so focused on that that he shut out every other part of his personal life and then unexpectedly, like a thunderbolt, just got hit by, hit with love by Maisie. Uh, I mean, that's always kind of, you know, where I can lend a hand, is bringing in, you know, kind of my own, uh, my own background in martial arts and wrestling, but I can't take credit for <laughs> any of the action in, in this film. It's all J.J. Perry. He was the one who, you know, he really wanted to come up with these kind of quirky characters, and kind of over the top action sequences. When I got in there, I added you know things here and there, but there, you know all the major stuff was. I mean, full credit to JJ Perry. He is the most fun director I've ever worked with. I've never met anybody who's so enthusiastic, who is so supportive, not only of his cast but also of his crew. I don't know, he just got such a high positive energy. It's just nothing but fun working with him. And also he's become the easiest person that I've worked with to collaborate with. Because I think, uh, I don't know, I think we just get each other, you know. We're both kind of, you know, old beat up <laughs> salty dogs. <laughs> But we also, it's, it's weird because I, I search for people like myself. I, I may appear to be a little rough around the edges, but I love films and I love storytelling. And I'm a creative person. I think I'm an artist at heart. And it, you know, you'd never probably, probably never look at J.J. Perry and say, that guy's a real artist. <laughs> Until you have a conversation with him and you understand his knowledge of, of film and storytelling. Right. Um, I still, even when you say Sir Ben Kingsley, I still get anxiety. <laughs> I think everybody, it's weird because everybody was like in full blown, like high tension anxiety mode <laughs> when he was uh, coming to set. And that's just because, and that is because everybody has such high respect for him. Mm -hmm. He is such a respecter and such, such a respected actor and such a proven actor. I mean, such an accomplished actor that nobody wanted to let him down. So everybody wanted to be at their best when he was there and on set and be very efficient and kind of cater to him because he deserves it. And so it was uh, intimidating to say the least. But for me, I mean, this is, I kind of gauge my career on who I'm working with. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all I need to do. I don't need to, you know, like accolades and awards and all that, but I gauge my career. And it was the same in professional wrestling. I gauge it with who I am working with. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to work with an, act, an actor of, of that status to me just says, I mean, I've, you know, I've, ma I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> so Sophia and I, I just love Sophia, and I never saw anybody else in this role, and I just, uh, you know, other actresses that had come up over the years uh, for the role of Maisie, and I just, I, I just couldn't see it. I just couldn't envision it. I couldn't imagine it ever being anybody other than her. Now I'm, you know, I'm patting myself on the back because I know I was right. We just, I, you know, we get along. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a natural chemistry we have. We're buds. We're friends, and I think it just translates on the screen. There's no uh, nothing forced with us. You know, we just uh, I don't know. We get each other. We're comfortable with each other, and so uh, and it's always been like that since day one. Since I met her on another film called Hotel Artemis, and we didn't even I don't think we had any scenes together in that film, but we just got along well. I saw her all the time. I saw her on the you know a lot of time. We're sitting next to each other in the makeup trailer, and uh, and we just clicked. You know, it just worked, and I just never saw anybody else as Maisie. Sophia, she is Maisie. Yeah, so I've done, this was my fourth film in Budapest. But yeah, I don't know, there's something magical about, about Budapest. It's just, it's a special place, 
but also their history in filmmaking is, is lengthy. I mean, they've got, they're just great. They've got some of the greatest crews in the world, and it's just very easy to get things done there. And also, Budapest is just a great city to, to live in. I mean, just, you know, obviously for us it's temporary, but, you know, as a temporary home away from home, it's, uh, it's amazing. You know, the first film I did there was Blade Runner 2049, and since then it's just become a place that I'm super comfortable with, I'm familiar with, I have friends there, like friends I stay in touch with, and uh, it's just become like a second home to me. I love it there. I think, you know, I think that's it. I think it's got, a, it's got a lot of heart. There's a lot of, it's really, it's just a fun ride. It's a fun, fast-paced ride with a lot of heart, uh, obviously a lot of action, but also really a great uh, romantic story in the middle of it, which I think is the heartbeat of it. I'll always go back to saying that I, I really always saw this as a, you know, a love story disguised as an action film. And I think that's it. And I think the connection between Joe and Maisie is, is special. You know, I think it's a fun, fun story. <laughs> um, so I, I think that's it. I, I feel like there's something for everyone in this film because it is, it's, it's just so much fun. And there is great action, but again, just a great love story. Oh, three words. Oh, that's fun. I think, you know, I think more than anything, this movie is just fun. But also, I think it's romantic, and I think it's uh, help me out. <laughs> I think I think action packed. Is action packed it. a word? Let's let's say that action packed is one word. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> well, that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is.